morning, first graders. Um, today with Mr. Ross, you're going to finish your um, Tree of Life pictures. So I want you to finish painting all of your background if you haven't done that. Remember, you can mix your primary colors to make all of the secondary colors. And talk about that with each other so that you remember what they are. When you're done painting the background, um, take your paintbrush and use those primary and secondary colors to create some cool patterns and designs for your sky. So experiment with your brush. Maybe you just wanna use just the end of it to make tiny little dots. Maybe you want to press it down and make a big thick mark or a big line. It's totally up to you. You could even swirl it around, but just add something else to make it interesting. When you get finished with that, you're going to paint your tree. So what I want you to do first is practice on a whiteboard because you're only gonna get one chance to draw this on your final artwork. So if you practice on your whiteboard, the tree starts off as two curved lines. Oh here, let me get a black marker. Two curved going to draw it like at the bottom of your painting and then you're going to add swirls just like Gustav Klimt did in his and just swirl it all the way around to make your cool branches you can even fill this part in if you want to okay once you have your practice done on your whiteboard and you like the picture that you made Go ahead and grab um, a plate with black paint. It'll be back by sink number two. And then you can paint your tree onto your paper. Even if your paint is still wet, you can still paint right over it. So here we go. And then it'll create like a nice tree silhouette for you. And it's up to you if you want to make your tree big, small, maybe it has lots of branches, maybe it only has a couple branches. That is totally your choice. And when you're done, you can put it on the drying rack and then clean up your area and use the creation stations for the rest of art. Have fun!